Blessings to you again on this wonderful day during the close down due to the coronavirus. I am Father Viber Stevens, and I making my presentation on behalf of our Roman Catholic Diocese of Bridgetown here in Barbados. Wonderful to have you. Now, I would like to share with you some benefits that we can have for friendship. We can have when we have cultivated our friendship. And one of the first benefit, I think, that we can have and we can develop is the cultivation of inner strength. Because you see, when we have a friend, we can share with them our feelings, our weakness. We can share with them our sadness. And they can encourage us and to help us to be strong, help us to stand up on our feet, not just to rely on them, but they support us and say, you will be okay, hold on, be courageous, do not allow this to keep you down. This is very important for all of us who have friendship, because having the, the, the inner strength give us the support to, to stand physically. So we have the divine support of friendship. Now we have the human support of friendship. The human friendship, uh, the human friendship allows us to grow to be better persons. This is the kind of friendship. So I am presupposing that we want friendship for the good. And that is why I say we grow better as persons, as fellow human beings on the journey. When we see our friends and meet our friends, do we not feel good? It is the release of this energy and this power within us that we feel so good at this person. And we say, thank God, girl, I was thinking about you. A boy, I was thinking, a man was thinking about you. And so a woman, I was thinking about you. You just came to my mind and whatever. And it's so wonderful. I have this to share with you. And you talk and you engage in conversation, not difficult, but spontaneously enter in, into dialogue. And it does something for, for us, for both of us, or for three of us, or four of us. It releases new energy, gives the kind of zest that we need to live in such a world with so much confusion and division and hatred. Friendship helps to diminish these things and help us to be whole. It makes us feel good, as I said, about ourselves. Friendship causes us to laugh when we are together. We can enjoy a good laugh. We can say, what a wonderful thing. Laugh and hold your belly. Laugh out loud. This is what friendship allows us to do. Do your friends allow you to laugh? Are you being yourself with your friends? No, that is one of the problems we have. Many of us cannot be ourselves. You cannot be in a straight jacket with your friend. Your friend, you must relax. You must feel happy. You must want to be with your friend and your friend must want to be with you. The benefit gives you purpose. It gives you the endurance you need and it helps you and to go forward in life. Psychology says that friends, uh, friendship, helps an individual to be healthy. No man is an island. That is our song. No man stands alone. We need persons to stand with us, not against us. And the more we have standing with us, it is better. So we can have a network of people who are with us in different levels and in different ways. But we must also have a core of individuals who are with us and we can call upon or they can call upon us so that we can, at least we can sound ourselves. But they have to be trusted and you must be trusted too. There must be no kind of fallacy, a falseness within, within the individual towards another. There must be always truthfulness. And I say this is wonderful because this is what all of us are called to be. 
So benefits, some other benefits of friendship is that it can cause some of our anxiety to lessen, in fact, to dissipate. It can cause this rate of loss when we have someone die or someone is ill or even in our illness and to allow our grief to even, even be released because we have someone that we can share such significant friendship. My dear friends, this is what we are to do. We can lower our rate of anxiety by worrying less when we have a true friend to share with. Our friend will help us to cope as we help them to cope and to manage their lives regardless of what their experience is or may be. We help them on the journey. We are engaged with the family not to know the business and not to be nosy in people's affairs. Our friends' affairs, unless we are being invited, we must respect that. We must respect each other. We must give each other the distance that is needed in friendship. For this allow you to grow as an individual apart from the person and it allows you to come together again in a real friendship of joy and understanding. Let us cultivate good friendship. I have one more to share with you and I would like you to listen to this one as we go along. May God bless you.